Hello there. This is a video which shows how to take apart a chromatic harmonica, which is a little bit more involved than you might think. And um, so let's get started. Okay. The first thing you gotta do is gather the stuff you're gonna need to do the job. And a large part of your success with work on harmonicas is the light that you have. Now you're looking at what's called a soft box. These are about $27 on eBay. And on the inside, they have a couple of bulbs. This one's a forehead. And then there's foil on the inside and this white scrim. And it provides a tremendous amount of light for your work table. That also has the advantage that it's kind of soft. It's not really a hard light like you might get with a quartz light or something. Uh, I also have a clean table. Mine's glass with a wooden floor, not carpet, so that if something drops, I have a pretty good chance of finding it. I have a headlamp, which I might use. I have safety glasses to protect my eyes or magnifying glasses from a drugstore at $2, which uh, you might want to protect your eyes with if you don't use that. And then we have a couple of screwdrivers. I'll get into more detail on that and a pair of pliers. So let's get started. Okay, <laughs> one thing that's pretty important is that you want to make sure that you are able to keep your parts together. So you put them in one of these little storage thingies that you can get at like Walmart or some other little thing. And that way you won't lose the parts. And there's a lot of parts somebody could lose as we're about to find out. Okay, let's come down and get started on the task at hand. Okie doke. Now, the harmonica, you know, it's got covers, a comb, reed plates, this slide thing with a button, and um, we also have uh, this mouthpiece. Now I can tell right now on this particular harp, which is here for inspection, that the slide is bent. Um, so that would be a part to replace, and you can see the, the, the hint is that the button is uh, bent down. It, it got an impact and a bend this way somewhere along the line. Okay, but that's we're not doing inspection here. We're actually doing something else, which is how to take it apart. Now, <clears throat> one of the advantages of taking the mouthpiece off first and the slide is that you still have something to grip the harmonica with, the covers. And the parts under here, these breast savers in there, are very, very easy to damage. So basically you take a Phillips screwdriver and, you know, kind of hold it steady with your hand, hook this on, and then twirl off the screw, okay? And we have this too. So we did both of them. Now you lift up. Screw a little bit more. And I'm at this point, you can see what do we have? Well, in this case, there's a an H bar. There's this slide, and then there's something you'll see occasionally, which is a checkered blank, and then the mouthpiece. And notice that these little screws that hold the mic, uh, the uh, mouthpiece on, they have a little rubber thing here called a bumper. Those can get lost real easy, and it's right around now if you were working at home that. You might, you might lose some of those parts as you take it apart. 
Then we go here. I put the parts into the, the box, okay? Now, see, I still have something to hold on to, which is nice. Now, when you go to take these screws off, a lot of times you'll have to hold with your finger on the other side because, I'll show you why, one goes into the other. So if you turn one, the other side's going to turn two, and then you just throw them in there, and we come over. Now, I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to do after I would undo this screw. I'm just going to get my hands away from it and let the covers fall off, and then I'll explain why. So see, I'm holding the other side again. I take this out, okay, I let go, and let those covers fall away. And the reason I do it that way is that um, the covers can do quite a bit of damage to the harmonica if they start rubbing on these parts here. Like, it could damage one of these breast savers real easily, and in a worst case scenario, it could actually mess up the, uh, the reeds themselves. So, what else do we have here? Well, it's time to put on our safety glasses, okay? Because now we're going to be undoing the screws on the inside, and those can be dangerous. I'll explain why here. What are we going to do? We're going to take out all these screws, okay? Now, these things occasionally snap when you're unscrewing or tightening them and go into the air and can poke you in the eye. So that's why I'm wearing that. Now these are what are called stanchions. They just keep the cover away from the harmonica. You just unscrew these. No big deal. Okay. And I leave the rubber. It's just a screw with a piece of rubber around it. There, it's, there's nothing magical about this design. So you just take them off and throw them in there. Okay, now note that we have a little screw here that holds on the reed plate to the comb. But over here we have a lot more screws. We have a screw here and a screw here that holds this on the comb. And then we have these long ones here. So let's take off the long ones now. You want to be careful as you take them out that um, you don't like damage the unit. Can you lay the harmonica down like that while you're taking the screws out? Yes, the safe way to do this is to position the screw with your fingertip. Okay. Now you'll notice that it made a little sound when it was unscrewed completely. Listen. See? That little click sound means that it's exited the back side of the reed plate. Okay. Now we want to be aware. There is this spring over on this side, see? That's the slide spring. And this little screw kind of holds it in place. But when these reed plates come loose and this screws out and these ones are that out over there, that little spring might try to get away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove that spring now. I just unscrew this. I put my thumb here so the spring cannot get away. It just popped open. I'm going to flip this around and get the spring out and the screw. Okay. See, that, those little springs can jump away and they can be problematic for you. But at least now, nothing else is going to fall out. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to remove these very, very small little screws that are in this harmonica. So everything's out except for the two remaining long ones. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pull this one. Okay. All right. And we're almost done. I'm going to lay this down here like this. We only have two to go. One. Okay. And two. Okay. 
Now, I just kind of lift up and take these. Now, normally what I do with these uh, reed plates is that I won't put them in the box. I'll actually lean them. I'll show you what I do with them. And you can watch. I find a place in my house here where, okay, that right there. And I just bring them up here and I lean them up. Yeah, I don't want anything to touch those. They're so delicate that I don't want anything to touch them. And I come over here now and um, we have disassembled the harmonica. We have a box of parts, screws and things. Nothing got lost. Eyes didn't get damaged. Um, little, little hint here. These screwdrivers are made where you can twirl them with your, your fingers like this. And this twirls. So it leans against your palm. And you can untighten and tighten because of the way they're designed. And that's a good tool. This is a much less expensive, but it's the same idea. It's got the twirly. These are jewelers type screwdrivers. You can buy these sets for five, six bucks at a discount store. And of course, here we have our comb. That's disassembly of a chromatic harmonica. Lighting, tools, eye protection, holder for the parts, being careful not to lose stuff. I have a couple hints for you. You do this on carpet, you're going to lose a part. I. People call me all the time. I, lo I lost this. I lost that. I can't find it. I've been looking for, for three hours in my carpet. I can't find it. Can't. You have no chance of finding it in carpet, especially shag or anything that's rough. You just won't find them. You won't find screws. You won't find those little bumpers. Those bumpers again. Let's look at how tiny they are. They're just, just tiny. They're just so small. You see? It goes, it's that clear thing around the screw. You get, you just can't hardly ever see them on the carpet. They, they don't show up. So try to work in a place where, you know, if uh, like a clean table. Uh, if you don't have a place without carpet, put a sheet on the floor. Not newspaper, a sheet. Because you will be able to find stuff that's on a sheet. Those springs... The spring here, uh, the slide spring, these things. Sometimes they jump out and they'll go a long way. These get lost quite a bit too. But you'll see that the way I did it, I you now you know I took the screw out. A lot of times those are just placed around a rubber, uh, a plastic post in the comb on plastic comb harmonicas. This was a Seidel Saxony, very well designed instrument. Anyway, that's how you take apart chromatic harmonica.